Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Learning as we play. And, well, we're a bit stuck between a rock and a hard place. Everyone around us is stronger than us. And I'm strongly considering becoming a vassal here. However, <laughs> uh, not in this very moment. Definitely not while uh, our lord's butt is alive. We have killed a few, yes. It is, it is true. We have sinned. Honestly, can't I get forgiveness for this? Uh, recruit a hill specialist? No. Could go on a pilgrimage, which is not gonna do that for us. What's going on here? My treasury is brimming with gold and silver, and all expenses are cared for. As wealthy lord, I'm expected to offer patronage. Okay, so we could uh, get some dude to do immaculate gardens for us, support religious arts, <sighs> development growth plus 15%. That's not bad. The religious arts. <sighs> I mean, we'll do that. For five years, development growth, 15%. I don't know if that's worth it. But we also can't really afford the hit to our prestige. So, okay. Um, we don't want immaculate gardens. That's not right. The discoveries made by Yorb show promise. So, thank you game for forcing me to spend money. How much does a pilgrimage cost us? A lot. Comparatively, like percentage-wise, that's a lot of money for us. So we're not going to do it. He still hasn't got a reason to fight us, so... At this very moment, we're fairly safe. He could. He could fight us. He has a claim on something of ours. So if he wanted to, he could. And he could afford bringing in his allies, so we would be kind of done for. So let's find... maybe... Can you get us something? Alliance power? County of Kerch, that's up there. It's better than nothing, we're gonna go for it. Because we've lost a bunch of our... Alliance is him. And the ones we have left aren't all that strong, so... We gotta try and remedy this. He could still go for someone, but there's no one worthy. Oh no. Okay, so this is something that was introduced a while ago. Uh, the game will kind of give you an idea of when you're starting to die. Um, therefore, it is a good idea to not spend too much gold so you can afford mercenaries or gifts. This is basically a hint for you to stop what you're doing and just kind of wait until you die. And this is true. This is maybe a year out or something. You, you might die any day at this point. Um... We have been expecting it. We knew it would be coming. Uh, our... Our brothers, who are still within the realm, are gonna inherit certain parts of our lands, but not our core. That will remain with us. And we have built this up to be the strongest anyway. And we can then fight some internal wars to try and take our stuff back. Oh no. Okay. What did I say? So he declared war on us right now. And he's bringing in his allies, so, um... We are about to die. And the problem is... Well, we can spend all our prestige anyway, so that's good. Actually, it doesn't cost us anything to call them in, it appears. Okay, we move our flag. We could raise another one, but we'll move it. We'll put it here at our home base. Raise everyone here. 
And what we're gonna do, because we know he's weaker than us, we're actually gonna hunt him. And try and get bits of his army done before he can link up with his allies. Okay, he's going north for some reason. Okay, he's not going north anymore. He's... Where is he going? Nowhere. We might just catch him. Nope, we didn't catch him. So that's bad. Right now, this is a bad situation for us. Well, we are still with the upper hand at this very moment. But he is moving really quick and I don't like it. Okay. So now we have split this army in a way where he will arrive, but late. And we will already have started a battle with him in our own lands where we should be stronger. So that's somewhat of a win. All right. Oh, okay. Now we die, obviously. Uh, so Prince Bat of Georgia has found peace in Christ's embrace at 67 years of age. He died of old age. A conscientious man, he was renowned for his excellent skill as a steward and ruler. Uh, Prince Sahag ascends the throne, blessed with an abundance of friends. Sahag is likely to find strong support in his rule, which is good. Um, okay, real quick, let's take survey of our lands. We lost nothing, uh, obviously. However, our brothers, uh, who are now actually starting to become important strong vassals, who we need to consider uh, for jobs that hopefully work for them. So he's a good steward because we made some wise choices in picking our boys. Uh, sadly, the learned one, that wasn't ideal. I didn't think about that much. So he goes here. He'll just uh, go get taxes. I don't care. That's fine. Uh, our Everyone else here stays. Uh, we're going to swap him out. Uh, why? Because we definitely don't want him in that job. He hates us or, well, he doesn't like us much. And... That's going to be a problem. Instead, we are going to get our half-brother here. Who isn't well suited for it. Not at all. Uh, but he'll like us for it and we don't want any beef with our brothers right now. Uh, he will go ahead and do something where he can do very little. Courtier's secret revealed. That, that's fine. Like That's the worst he can do. Don't care. Uh, We're going to start swaying our bishop. Or our commander. I'm not sure. Let's see. We should we sway him? Our wife we need to put onto something sensible. She can assist us or she can go for chivalry. Re reinforcing where we're good at. Uh, she is pretty good at almost anything that we would put her at. So I think... We'll have her help us with chivalry. Um, right, we only have a daughter. And we'll see what we can get. Not our half-brother, that doesn't help us much. The county of Syracusia would be our... Ally. Syracusia is down there. That's really far away. But the question is how powerful is it? Is it worth it? No. Okay. Uh, we have to go matrilineally for her. There's really no option. Because we do not have a son. So we can go ahead and give her to someone merely for power. Like this duchy here. Oh yeah, that would be good. Um, we'll definitely go with this. Um, yes, please. Thank you. There we go. Uh, so this will help us. This gives us a strong alliance. Uh, we also need to pick our tree here and he's already in Marshall. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's see. Luck can win a duel. A fool can win a war. It takes... Uh, a battle, it takes more to win a war. So just a flat plus three here. Authority focus. 
Uh, dread and control. We don't really need that all that much. We could go for advantage on our knights, which is really important. And prowess plus three, so he is good in battle. And I think... Let's check him out. His prowess is poor. So that wouldn't help. I don't want him in battle directly, so uh, we are going to pick the strategy focus. Because I think we also have a natural dread reduction in our uh, family tree, so he'll go for strategy, giving us plus three martial, making us a little bit more formidable on that front. Already up to 17 uh, than we were before, which gives us 80% to levy size and 80% to levy reinforcement rate, which is really good. Um, helps us tremendously. All right, so now we still hope to catch our enemy before his armies are linked up, basically. And we will immediately call in our new ally to help us win this war. <laughs> Which will be our best bet. And he's coming. We are also going to fight this piece of his army now. And our allies are arriving just in time to reinforce this battle here while his armies are split. All right, uh, a child of the Man Dynasty. It doesn't really matter to us. Let's have her give a well, nice apostolic name. That's all we really want here. Okay, this is a conquest. So conquest, um, it says right here, Shivarian conquest of the county of Iran. A conquest is something that they can get as a uh, Casus Belli for basically free. It costs some prestige, I think, and that's really it. Right now we fight this other army that's uh, skulking around here and trying to siege our lands before they can link up with something else that might be coming. We have some of our allies ready already to f help us here. And we have caught the enemy before they could flee. All right, so they are beaten. Now we go and siege his capital. Because I like to go for the capital because it, it gives a good chance that you might capture someone who's important there. Which then will drastically reduce uh, the war score on their end. But there's a big army coming in I didn't see. However, we will catch his little army here. So it was okay. Um, another... Another ally has joined on his side, which isn't good for us, of course, but we have beaten him again. So we are going to go back and face this army as they come around into our lands. Hopefully we'll manage. There is still our new ally who's arriving, so I'm not too worried at this very moment. We could, of course, try and go for a white piece. Uh, we will not attack white yet. Or will we? No, we are not. He's trying to link up. We will wait for our allies to arrive here. Because this is really good territory for him to fight in. Uh, we don't want to give him the advantage. But we'll make a quick check. He has 8,700 soldiers now. Um, he doesn't want a white piece. We're almost there. So sieging something might be our very best option. At this very moment. Uh, so hopefully his big army doesn't arrive real quick. We don't really see much, so we don't know where his armies might be. We want to have a white piece. Problem is, he gets the pressed claim, obviously. 
So I think we need to go a Hail Mary and we siege his uh, his place down. Our heir and daughter has come of age. Okay, we find you a matrilineal match now. Might go with our half-brother and steward. Would this give a potential incest? Yeah. Might. Who else is there? He's good. He's a solid knight. I mean, good is relative, but... Yeah, we'll take him. That's fine. Also allows us... Oh, we could ransom some prisoners here, which we're not going to do because sometimes they contribute to the war score and you inadvertently lower it. And this guy is very expensive as well. Okay, so this gives us another ally to call in. They're small. But it's 500 more than we had before. So we'll go for that. He's going to link up with a big army. Probably. So my best hope at this moment is to siege down his stuff quicker than he sieges down ours. Sadly, we don't have anyone who's skilled in sieging. Okay, okay. We just reached the white piece. And before these 4,000 soldiers that we're not seeing are coming, we're going to offer it. Now, um, he's going to be stressed out of his hell, uh, out of his mind, because he is ambitious. Uh, our allies get some prestige, his allies, and we keep the contested title. I don't see him getting a claim on our title, so uh, we'll offer this, and he'll take it. Again, not ideal outcome. We're doing a lot of white pieces here, but it's the best thing we can do. So we disband our troops, our allies will disband their troops and all as well, again. And if we check him, still he has only this claim that he had before. And he will eventually die. Anyway, he's quite old. So that's good. We don't have any claims on him, we could only do Holy War. But he is very strong in his own rights right now, my lord. So it's good that we have a truce. For five years at least. Um, and the Kingdom of Georgia is fairly, fairly low right now. Why is this not highlighted for us? It's a bit weird. Okay, we have several counts have a claim on this here. Could press our own claim. But we are really weak at this very second. So we'll have to wait for this to go up a little bit. Actually, we might even want to consider moving him out of uh, doing control. No, he's already raising our levy size. He just doesn't like us much. Let's sway him. Uh, are we already working on swaying him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're already doing that. Okay. Our wife gave us some attentive care. Giving us a massive booth, a boost to disease resistance. But I'm still considering strongly to uh, swear some le uh, fealty here. He hates us less than our father. Uh, he wants this county there. But I'm not sure if we can... How are you alone so strong right now? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. You don't have that many troops. Oh, it's your allies. Okay. Which ally is it, though? Oh, okay. Down here. This is this is who you're allied with. Let's see. Can't we maybe split this? Why are you allied? Let's see generally if we can't do something about these alliances. Oh. Oh, someone is in my... Very own dungeon. Huh. 
Huh. Okay. Bear with me now. <laughs> this is a little bit more theoretical than most things that I say. Because I haven't really done it much. Okay. All right. Let me let me roll through this very slowly. Now, this aligns here, right? So this exists. I am sticking this because there's a marriage between this man and this woman who are currently... Well, he is in my dungeon. And we can demand his conversion, recruit him to our court, and we gain a weak hook. Now, I believe as long as he is in my court, they can't join a war against us. I believe that is so. I believe that is so. I'm not sure. I believe that is so. So he's going to hate us for a while. But that's fine. We'll work on that. But both his, his wife and him, they're both going to come to us. Because if where he goes, she goes. That's how it goes. All right. So he hates us right now. Very good. His alliance obviously still stands because it's still there. I could have executed him and broken the alliance. Uh, these boys are going big and strong here. My, my. Okay. That's a bit of a problem. Now, the other alliance that you have. Let's see. Her. Nope. That won't work. Okay, we have some ransom demands here. Yes, you can go. Yes, you can go. That's fine. Uh, nope, not what I wanted. Why do you hate us? Alright, you just really hate us, huh? Well, okay, we can't do anything about this at this moment, but... How about him personally? Oh, yeah, nothing, nothing to be done there. Either. Alright. Let's see. You have no alliances left. Which is just as well. Oh, he has two kingdom titles, so this is bad. Should he have two male sons, he's gonna lose one of these kingdom titles and it's gonna split. Which is good for us, but terrible for him. We're in a decent position at this moment. The only issue we have is that our heir is a woman. Which sounds sexist today, but it really doesn't help us much. Alright. Um, cool, thank you. Oh boy. The apostolic word wo world was shocked to learn that my bishop, Aristasis, was caught in flagrante delicto with several young servants in his home. The poor aide who discovered them had to avert his eyes while the culprits rushed to grab their clothes and get dressed. While scandals among the clergy are nothing new, it is disquieting for one to occur so close to home. Maybe I should just stay silent about this so we don't say anything. Uh, but that means he loses a level of devotion and the apostolic's fervor decreases by 10. That's not good. So what does this fervor mean? Or fervor? Um, if we check this out here, that's something going on. Nope, that's the culture. Fervor. There. Fervor. Um, this helps with the convert county task. Doesn't really matter much because we're not using it, but we don't want to you we want we do not want to lose it either. Let's see. He might stop in he will stop endorsing us. We will be stressed because we are cynical and humble. Um Oh he's already lost all that stuff, so it doesn't really matter what we do. Yeah, okay, fine. We lose the endorsement of the church, which costs us dearly. The church gives us a lot of money. Uh, so, well, <laughs> we can't replace him at all. So the next thing we're going to need to do is basically sway him. Could bribe him, but 
That doesn't help us. Oh no, our sister Philippa died. That stresses us. It's not good. Alright, we have got a new alliance there. Very good. Oh man. Everything here is built as well as it can be. Of course, one of the reasons we were earning as much money as we were uh, was due to our father being... Oh, very good. We got some additional taxes here. And we are greedy, so that helps us with the stress. Nice. Thank you, Stuart. Uh, this was a good choice here. Um, yeah. The taxes issue, uh, our father was really, really good at administering the realm, so... We are not, so we are better with soldiers, but uh, that doesn't really re reflect because we are not personally holding all that much more anymore. We are reliant on our vassals giving us their troops, which isn't so, uh, solid. Not a very good thing. Let's see. The mayor here would be very, very well suited to it. Uh, he would be better, though, because he's terrible at his current job. So we're just moving him over. And we'll find a better spy master, basically. Someone who doesn't hate us. Oh yes, our daughter. She isn't perfect at it at all. But at least she doesn't hate us. So we are fairly safe from our own court in this way. Oh no. Why are they no longer married? Because she died. What's going on here? County, county. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we lost our most important alliance here. Oh, God. And a little Helen. Very good. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What are you becoming, anyway? Oh, you're already something. You're a skilled tactician. Uh. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're in line to inherit some titles, so if our brothers die, we get some stuff. That's fine. Like, if he dies, we get his stuff. We're not gonna... We're not gonna be a murderer in that sense. That's not who we are. Not at this very moment. Alright. So, starting out taking over a realm is always a bit of a stressful time. Because you're just not in the shoes that you want to be in yet. A lot of things might go just wrong. So we'll have to see what we can do. We have another daughter. A Mara she will be. And she will be very good in intrigue because we will need spy mistresses later. Do we keep it in the family? That doesn't help us. Doesn't help us. Doesn't help us. What's the alliance power? Come on, there must be something good. No, it doesn't help us. The apostolic church doesn't help us. Oh yeah. We're absolutely forlorn here. Do we get something good without the matrilineal? No, we already have that. Oh boy. I'm not making a choice right now because there isn't a good choice. To be quite honest. It's all kind of terrible for us. So we could only go Holy War. That doesn't help us. Could do this. Doesn't help us. We're not strong enough. Not nearly. Yeah, how's this lady going on? 
Oh, she's no longer in our court. Oh, that's a shame. Bye. Then you don't matter anymore to me. You're gone. Wait. Can I get a marriage with you? Well, I mean, kinda. Not really. Okay, let's have a quick look around. Can't we get something manually going? Maybe you guys. Don't you have something interesting? My daughter, she's great. Will not accept. We have too many existing alliances. How? We have two. It's nothing. Oh. Probably also because we are not good at managing our realm. Okay. Well, let's make sure we have our good stuff equipped here. Ooh. We have another trinket. Martial life, uh, life ex lifestyle experience for Marshall. Very good. We definitely want that equipped. We can have four trinkets. So that's good. Speaking of trinkets, we do have some money and we can upgrade some stuff. Can't upgrade this yet. Too expensive. But we can upgrade this, which gives us more gold and slight boost to holding taxes. Or we go for this. Neither option is really ideal. It's also expensive. Also very, very expensive. But then again, it yields us money in the long term. So the earlier we have it, the better it is. We'll, we'll build it. Let's go. No point in fussing about it. We'll just make a choice here. Sometimes you just have to make a choice and see whether or not it's going to be the right one in a bit. So this thing here is real big. And of course they're allied. But he's not going to live forever. He is... He's going to die. Because he looks so angry. And he's in a hushy stupor. And he's obese. That's not helping. So he should die soon. This should dissolute the alliances that he has. Oh well, he only has this alliance left. But it's a strong one. Why exactly do you still get... Oh, you don't. I just don't have a lot of troops anymore. Oh, man. Ooh, strategic expertise. So she is uh, better at this now. And since she's supporting us in that, it's also making us better. So that's very good. We like that. Increasing... Siege progress with our troops. This here helps a lot once we have it. Crosses rivers and straits without advantage penalties. That's amazing. But for that we would have to lead personally. And uh, well, he's just not that capable yet. Yet. We'll make him into a capable soldier. By going in the gallant tree. Uh, next, after that. This will help... At some point, I think, increase his... Well, the peace acceptance is great. Yeah, it goes up in his prowess as well. So that's that's a good thing. The overseer thing... Nah, that's not important for us. All right. With this, we're going to leave it here. Thank you very much. This was our first succession in this playthrough. And we survived it. We survived several wars we started and had started against us. And I believe, yep, uh, this big thing just broke apart. So not as dangerous anymore as it was just a few seconds before. I like this game. There's always something new happening. Always a change in the political landscape. And Kazaria is just growing and growing and growing. But it seems to have some difficulties growing west. We'll see if something rises that might match them. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you got any questions or you want to tell me something about your own playthrough, leave it a comment. And I hope to talk to you next time. Until then, bye-bye.